Alright, today we're going to be doing the bubblegum physics challenge. All we need for this challenge, stopwatch, piece of gum, our bubblegum worksheet. Alright, how this is going to work, you're going to work in groups of three. You only get one piece of gum, only when that person's chewing. So the rest of you are going to wait. When it's your turn, let me know it's your turn. I'll give you a piece of gum. All you're going to do is take the gum. It says, you will conduct the tri five trials to determine the number of chomps you can do in 30 seconds. A chomp is defined as a big chew or the kind that usually causes you to get caught with gum in the classroom. So no small chewing, fake chewing, chomping. So what you're going to do, your timer, one of your partners is going to have the timer. They're going to say go. As soon as you start chewing, big chews, starts the timer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five. 6, 7, 8, 9. Alright, stops at 30 seconds. You write down the number of chomps you had. Mine was 39. So, right here in the chart, I'm going to write 39 chomps. My time is always going to be the same. It's always 30 seconds. So we're going to put 30 seconds in the second column. Alright, then we're going to have to calculate speed. How do we calculate speed? It says it right at the bottom of the chart here. Number of chomps divided by time. So you take 39 divided by 30 seconds, gives you your chomps per second. So if I was doing it, I'd do 39, 39 divided by 30 equals 1.3 chomps per second. That's my first trial. Then you're going to start again, okay? Press reset, timer says go, start, one, two, three, and so on. You're going to do this for five trials. Once you have that done, just move on with the sheet. Step three, what is your average speed round to the nearest hundred? How do we calculate average speed? Total chomps divided by total time equals our average speed of chomping. Then you're going to, based on your average chomping speed, how many chomps could you do in five minutes, one hour, or one day? Okay. If you're calculating your speed, your average speed, for 30 seconds, start doing the math. There's space down below to show your math. I will be collecting this sheet. You need to show your math. Next, speedy chompers. You're going to use the timer to determine the number of chomps you can do in one minute. As the time reaches each point, record the number of chomps you have completed. Do not stop the timer as you record your data. You may want to practice a few times before running the official trial. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have a time of 20 seconds, 40 seconds, and 60 seconds. Right? Those snapshots. Right? When they say start, you're going to do this for a total of a minute. So when you hit start, you're going to count. One, two, three, start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 15, 14, 15, 16, 17, mm -hmm. and so on, until you get to 20 seconds. Once the timer gets to 20 seconds, you say your number out loud, someone will record it down for you. You keep chewing, keep chewing, because you're going to keep chewing. Then when you get to 40 seconds, read the number out loud of how many chews you got. Once you get to 60 seconds, out loud, how many chews you're at. All right, that's going to solve it for there. Move to the back. You're going to calculate your chomps per second for 20, 40, and 60 seconds. And move on to the next question. Did, your, did you maintain a constant rate? Remember rate, same thing as speed. Then you're going to think about it. You can do this on a separate sheet of paper, or you can do it on it. You're going to write a paragraph to summarize the results of your experiment. What happened with your experiment? Are your results accurate and reliable? Why or why not? What other experiments could you do with the gun? That's what we'll be working on today. Bubblegum physics.